Hi everybody, Sarah Brennison here with Tupperware, and you are about to learn how to organize your cupboard with just a piece of paper. The first step is to figure out if you like to pour or if you like to scoop. And what that means is if you're going to be putting whatever you would like to use in this permanent storage solution, and the way you're gonna get it out is you're going to scoop it, you're going to wanna look at our squares. Pull this one for you our squares and our rectangles, all right? Because this will give you enough space for that measuring cup or spoon that you're going to use. If you're going to be pouring or using little things like teaspoons, then you're going to want to use our ovals and our super ovals. Our ovals and super ovals come in five sizes for heights. The five for a super oval, to give you a heads up, can hold a full family size box of cereal. Now, if you're wondering what fits in what, I would love for you to comment below um, link to organize because we have a process sheet on our blog that gives you the ability to organize your entire cupboard with charts and what fits in what off of our infiniteshine.net blog. And we can send you that in message. Once you figure out if you're scooping or if you're pouring, you need to figure out measurements. And that's where this piece of paper comes in because a piece of paper, a standard size paper, fits about the same size as a rectangle. So if you can lay a piece of paper into your cupboard, then you know that you're able to put a rectangle into your cupboard too. So let's prove it. In here, I have my Bisquick and I have my brown sugar. And right in between my flour and my sugar, I can lay that piece of paper. So I know I have enough space for one matcha me. And you can take individual pieces of paper and go across your entire shelf to see how many rectangles that you can get into. Now remember, on our rectangles, two super ovals can fit. So if one piece of paper can fit in that space, you know that also two super ovals can fit on top or beside it. Likewise, if it does hang over just a little bit, like this one is right here, you know you're going to want to use squares and ovals instead. And sometimes you just need to use squares and ovals anyways because that's just what fits whatever it is you're going to put in it better. Once you figure out a plan, those planning sheets that we mentioned that are on infiniteshine.net help you figure out exactly which ones you want to get at the time that you want to buy them. Now, if you're watching this in real time, now through January 27th, 2021, modular mates are on sale. We have them on sale in sets and we have them on sale in singles. So contact your Infinite Shine family member with the link for them to shop so that you can see what options are available. One special option that is available that is not normally here is our Super Rectangle 2. Our Super Rectangle 2 is the same size as two Rectangle 2s side by side. So if you need something that is a size for Rectangle 4, but you don't have the height, this is a solution. We also keep non-food items in our modular mates too. You can see that this has our mandolins in it so it doesn't accidentally fall down on top of us. But we also keep our sheets in them as well. Also, in our super ovals, we like to keep our plastic wear. So that way we can... Hold on one second, I need to grab them. Sorry. So we also, in our super ovals, keep our plastic wear. So that way when we need only our forks when we have our get-togethers, I can just pull this right out. So it's not just for food for our modular mates. Now what I love about them, lastly, is once you put them in, there's really only one place for it to go. So when the brown sugar is being used, I know that's the only spot that it can happen to go back into. This is gonna help your cupboard stay organized longer. That's why we call it a permanent storage solution. And for those of you that have um, baking soda, for example, make sure you at least get an oval one because one box of baking soda fits in here. And if you have the baking soda where the, the tab is up, you know that's how I grew up learning having it in my cupboard, you're deodorizing that whole cupboard. Where when you put it in here, it's not gonna go anywhere and that leavening agent that you're gonna add to those cookies actually will work instead of adding all the scents that are inside. So for those of you who have modular mates, what do you love about them? 
If you have pictures of them, I would love for you to share them in the comments below. And if you don't have modular mates and you want to learn more, let us know and we can send you a message to help you get started. Thank you so much for joining us. 